Hey everyone, Zach Tucker out here at Reedsville High School getting you ready for our Carolina Classic Fair Friday Night Rivals Game of the Week presented by My48. This week we have Eastern Alamance at Reedsville. It's now time to go inside the headset with both coaches. We're joined now by Reedsville head coach, Coach Teague. Coach, your team is off to a pretty good start, 3-0. What's going right? Um, just overall, we've found ways to win the game. Uh, first two games, we kind of came out slow offensively. We had some kind of penalties early on those first two games that kind of slowed us down a little bit, but then the, the defense held up when we needed them to. And then uh, last week, uh, we kind of put all phases of the game together a little bit better than the first two games. Um, we, we feel like we're getting better, a little bit better each week, which is always the plan, especially early on in the season. So just uh, fixing the early season uh, mistakes with uh, watching film and then practice, and then hopefully to keep building on that this week. Now tell me a little bit about some of the playmakers on your team this year. Uh, yeah, so a couple of different uh, position changes, kind of uh, Deontay Neal has been a, a two-year uh, starter at receiver and DB for us his freshman and sophomore year. He's playing a uh, majority of the quarterback snaps for us this year, which is uh, not completely out of position for him, but he's just a overall athlete, um, really good with the ball in his hands, really good decision maker, which we see on the basketball court as well. Uh, but then he has our leading rusher is Jario Cobb, senior. Uh, he's committed to the Air Force, so he's been a really good four-year varsity player for us. Um, then at receiver, we have Cam Jones is a senior. He, had, he was a thousand yard receiver last year, so he's got the majority of our catches and yards so far this year. And then along with uh, Janiah Sharp, who started last year for us at receiver. And then uh, newcomers that are starting this year is Frankie Galloway, who plays kind of slot uh, for us, has had a couple catches so far. And Jakari Penix has a couple catches so far also. Now, a big-time matchup this Friday night against Eastern Alamance, a team that you guys have played against uh, over the last couple of seasons, really. Tell me a little bit about the Eagles. Yes, they're historically really good program, um, really well coached. They're always in the, seems like in the third, fourth round of the 3A playoffs, made it to a couple of state championship games. Um, so early on in the season, we always want to try to to play uh, good teams to kind of see what our flaws and what our weaknesses are, things that we can get better on through conference that lead us into playoffs. So it's always good for us to play a tough non-conference schedule, um, even though that they haven't got off to the success that they normally have. We, we kind of jokingly say they're probably one of the best 0-3 teams to start the year that there is that there could be because they're still a good team. They just haven't been able to put a full game together yet. Yeah, and now the last the matchup last year against Eastern Alamance, they were actually the only loss that Reedsville had. Does that kind of add a little bit of a revenge factor this time around? It's always kind of in the back of our mind. You know, each season is obviously a lot different, but just but yeah, just the just the overall fact that they're going to be a good. They have good players. They're a good overall team. They have beaten us uh, before last year, and then the year before that, it was actually came down to the last possession of the game in the fourth quarter to who was going to win or who was going to lose. Um, so yeah, it's always, it's been a tight game every time we've played them and they're a good team and they're a good program historically. So yeah, we're always going to be prepared as, as well as we can for the, for Friday night. Now, keeping with the theme of last year, Reedsville won the state championship in your first year at the helm. How cool was that? Yeah, it was kind of a, I mean, at, looking back on it now, it was just the, it was definitely a huge accomplishment. I mean, that's obviously the always the goal here is to win the state championship, or at least to be to compete for a state championship, to kind of be in the conversation. Um, so yeah, that was really cool. It was a lot of highs and lows throughout the season. We started off very slow, had a lot of injuries, kind of really wasn't sure what the season was going to look like, and then we ended up once we got into the conference play, we really started playing well, and then we got everybody healthy, and then we started playing even better. And yeah, so it was just a, a great way to, to end my first year. Um, looking back on it now, it was definitely a, a really good uh, accomplishment for our team last year. Now, one of the primary sponsors for FNR Games is the Carolina Classic Fair. It's going to take place a little less than a month now over at the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds. So Coach, I got to ask you, what is your favorite thing about the fair? I've been being there in football season. I haven't got to go a lot of times in my life. Just seems like always something busy with football, but um, always try to get something uh, fried, so some type of food. And then uh, there's a couple rides that my wife and kids that we've done over the. I don't know the exact name of it, but we we try to uh, make worth our time while we're there and try to hit pretty much everything uh, that we can while we're there. 
Yeah, and now the fair has a cool atmosphere itself, but this place right behind of us, here at Reedsville, they're known as the football capital of NC. You know, whether you think about the success of the program or the fan base, what is it that really makes this place special? It's the, I mean, the his, starting with the history of it, just the, the most state championships um, in North Carolina history as far as for one school goes, uh, going back a really long time. So then that uh, small towns like this throughout the state of North Carolina are, they uh, value their their local high schools where you get into a big city, you know, you might live across the street from somebody that goes to a different school. Um, so these small town uh, football towns, uh, they really like their football and they really like to see us succeed and then they they really support us especially on home games um like and especially big games like this friday night now coach teague what is your final message to all the rams fans out there watching this before kickoff i uh, just come out and support like with like always um we're hoping to put a full game together uh, we're, we felt like we've been getting better a little bit better each week but uh just come out and show the support cheer on the guys uh, like you always do Awesome. All right. Well, thanks yep. so much for your time today, Coach Teague. I appreciate it. Good luck uh, Friday night and the rest of the season. Let's go ahead and check in with what's happening over at Eastern Alamance. All right. Well, we are now at Eastern Alamance, and we are joined now by Eagles head coach, Coach Michener. And, Coach, your team is off to an 0-3 start in the season, but just kind of tell me about how we've gotten to this point. Um, we've had uh, one of the toughest non-conference schedules uh, in the state, and uh, we've been able to progress through those um, moving the needle in the right direction every week. Um, we're able to see what flaws we have. Um, we're trying to correct those mistakes as a coaching staff. And I think that our kids have been responding well to the challenge and trying to fight as hard as they can to get those mistakes corrected. And uh, we have a saying around here called positive response. And we say it not because uh, it's always gonna be easy sailing, but because we know times will be tough and uh, we're learning how to have a positive response through this stretch. Yeah, now tell me a little bit about some of the Eagles playmakers. Uh, so we have our running back, Tyreek Samuel. He is doing, uh, he was out this past week, but he's really got a into the groove of things in the Southeast Alamance game. He's done a really good job. Um, Deshaun Harrison has also done a great job at receiver and at safety. And um, we're also out another starter, uh, CJ Shambliss at uh, safety as well last week and he was having a phenomenal first two games. Um, really proud of our defensive backs. Uh, through the first three games I thought that they've played really well. Um, a lot of contested uh, throws and catches. Um, they're in the right spots. We're trying to speed up the decision making a little bit quicker um, so that we can turn those into interceptions. So. Yeah, now Coach Michener, this is your first year as the head coach here at Eastern Alamance. When you think back to first taking this job, why was this the right fit? I feel like Coach Kirby left a great foundation uh, for whoever followed him to come here. Um, it's, it's tough to follow somebody that's been here for 30 some years, but uh, the facilities here are top notch. The support from the community has been very great. And we here at Eastern Alamance, uh, we have a proud tradition of winning and we're trying to make sure that we're getting back to those winning ways. Yeah, now um, tell me a little bit about your opponent, Reedsville. So Reedsville, it, you don't need to really uh, explain too much about them. Everybody in high school football in the state knows who they are, uh, defending state champions and uh, multiple time state champions. They got a really good staff up there. Uh, Coach Teague does a great job as his dad did before him. And uh, they just have a lot of good playmakers uh, that know what they're running on offense and defense and they fly around and they finish the plays like they need to and, and uh, the results kind of speak for themselves. So. Now they call Reedsville the football capital of NC. Does that add a little something something going into their place knowing that there's a lot of history and success with the program? You know, there's a lot of history behind Reedsville and uh, you know, their, their work speaks for themselves. What I've been challenging the guys with this week is that we need to focus on Eastern Alamance and, and can us continuing to get better. And if we can focus on us and we can challenge ourselves and we can have consistent practices, consistent great practices, we'll see what we can do on Friday nights and we can potentially shock some people. Yeah, now going off of that, this game will be broadcast all over the Piedmont Triad on My48. How big of an opportunity is this for your program? It's a great opportunity for people to see uh, who Eastern Alamance is. Um, and, you know, a lot of people 
uh, may have heard the name before, but they're not familiar with us. Uh, and then just everybody that's watching, um, trying to see what we're trying to push with the idea of having a positive response and what that saying and what that mantra means to us and, and what that it's more of a, it's bigger than football. It's, it's sort of a lifestyle type of thing, having a positive response no matter what happens. And what would it mean to get your first win of the season on Friday night? Oh, that would be unbelievable um, I, to get the first win um, of the season uh, of my coaching career would be awesome at a, at a place that has been such a historical uh, foundation of North Carolina football in Reedsville. Now, one of our primary sponsors for the game is the Carolina Classic Fair. They're going to be getting underway next month at the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds. So I've got to ask you, Coach, what is your favorite part about the fair? Uh, I like the food. Anytime I go to any fairs, uh, it, it's the food and the atmosphere. You see all kinds of fried stuff that you've never really had before. You only have once a year whenever you go to the fair. So I love, I always love going to the fair and getting something fried, fried Oreos or anything like that. It's always good to have. Yeah, fried Oreos, always a good choice. Always a favorite of mine too. So yeah. <laughs> two great minds think of like with that. Um, but what is your final message to all the Eagles fans out there who are watching this before kickoff? Uh, my final message to, to, you know, the Eagles fans in the town of Mebane is, you know, keep supporting us and we've enjoyed having the support so far. Um, and we're really trying to work hard to continue to get better every week. And uh, we feel like we have one of the, you know, biggest challenges of the in the state in regards to what we've been doing. Um, we're not backing down to that and we're continuing to accept that challenge and, and work on have, putting our best foot forward and figuring out how to have the best positive response that we can have. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks so much for your time, Coach Mitchner. Yeah. I appreciate it and good luck on Friday night and the rest of the season. Thank you. All right. Well, for more Inside the Headset content, subscribe to the ABC 45 YouTube channel.